The Irkutsk Aviation Plant is currently testing the MC-21, 310-passenger medium-haul aircraft and making substantial progress in establishing production capacities for their large-scale manufacturing. However, there is an unusual development regarding the initial order for two of these aircraft in a cargo configuration. In January 2025, Leonid Mokov, the CEO of Nordstar Airlines, disclosed this information. Currently, Nordstar operates foreign aircraft. The Russian carrier's official website indicates that its fleet includes American passenger aircraft, including the Boeing 737-800 and Boeing 737-300. Dissatisfied with this situation, the company's management has selected modern Russian aircraft, likely to begin serial production and deliver to consumers within the next year or two. The CEO of Nordstar said, We need to purchase Russian planes to avoid any issues. Right now, we are developing the Sukhoi Superjet, which is fully import substituted. While there are challenges with the engine, we are promised a solution in 2025. We've ordered five of these planes and aim to add them to our fleet, though not before 2027. The MC-21 is also fully import substituted, equipped with our engines, and nearing the end of testing. We're promised delivery of the MC-21 in 2025. We've ordered 10 of these aircraft. Additionally, we plan to acquire two cargo planes based on the MC-21 starting in 2030. The Russian aviation industry has allocated substantial resources to the production of import substituted aircraft, such as the Superjet and Passenger MC-21, and there is already significant demand for them. The cargo version of the MC-21 is the first major step in this direction. By 2030, Nordstar intends to acquire a cargo version of the new Russian medium-haul aircraft. The Irkutsk aviation plant should have no trouble producing two units, but the cargo modification must first receive certification and pass all necessary tests. What might the cargo version of the MC-21 look like? The passenger MC-21-310 has a payload capacity of over 20 tons and a range of 5,100 kilometers. Similar parameters are present in cargo versions of its predecessor, the TU-204 version, the TU-204C, which were manufactured in limited quantities. Consequently, the MC-21 cargo modification does not necessitate any groundbreaking innovations. Additionally, the 2-series aircraft's experience is still visible today, as some units from the 1990s are still in operation. Preventing the recurrence of errors is crucial, as exemplified by the installation of a loading and unloading system on the TU-204C. This system was based on Western solutions, which at the time relied on American technology from Ankara. Domestic solutions are the sole viable alternatives in the present circumstances. Volga Nepper expressed interest in a potential cargo variant of the MS-21 aircraft at the 2021 MAX Air Show. Urquhart Corporation announced in the same year that it is in the process of developing cargo versions of the SJ-100 and MS-21 passenger aircraft. Oleg Guliev, the director of the regional aircraft branch of Irkut Corporation said, We are considering the development of cargo versions of aircraft, and this work is already underway. Currently, we are working on conceptual solutions for the production of a cargo version. This issue is being explored not only for the Sukhoi Superjet, but also for the MC-21. Comparing the MC-21-310 to its Western counterparts, particularly the Airbus A330neo and Boeing 737 MAX, reveals several significant features. The MC-21-310 boasts a competitive maximum payload capacity of 21,300 kg, which is slightly lower than that of its Western counterparts, the Airbus A320neo and Boeing 737 MAX, which is about 24,000 kg. This difference could limit its appeal to airlines that prioritize cargo capabilities, particularly in markets where cargo weight is a critical factor. Nevertheless, the MC-21's innovative design features, including a wider fuselage and sophisticated composite materials, serve as an offset. The MC-21 has a maximum range of 5,100 kilometers, which is less than the Boeing 737 MAX with 6,570 kilometers, 
and the Airbus A320neo 6,300 km, this reduced range may impact the operational flexibility of airlines considering longer routes. Nevertheless, the MC-21's cabin design provides a substantial advantage. Compared to the 737 and A320, the aircraft's fuselage is wider, which renders it more suitable for efficient space utilization, particularly in a potential cargo configuration. This design is particularly advantageous in the e-commerce sector, where internal volume frequently surpasses payload weight. Altitude Attics estimates that the aircraft has the potential to reach a cargo volume of approximately 150 to 170 meter cube if it is converted into a freighter version hypothetically named MC-21-310F, subject to the optimization of the interior for cargo loading. This would enable the medium-haul freighter to compete in the market by providing 10 to 11 standard cargo pallet positions. The following table provides a summary of the anticipated specifications of a hypothetical MC-21 freighter in comparison to current freighters. Approximately 3,800 to 4,200 kilometers is the estimated range of the MC-21 freighter with a maximum payload. This is slightly more than the 737-800 BCF with approximately 3,750 kilometers and the A321-P2F with approximately 3,700 kilometers. It may surpass the ranges of its competitors by approximately 200 to 300 kilometers, reaching up to 5,500 kilometers with reduced payloads. The Airbus A321-P2F has a substantially larger cargo volume of 208 meter cube for comparison purposes, while the Boeing 737-800 BCF provides approximately 141.5 meter cube. Operators who prioritize medium haul routes with moderate cargo volumes may find the MC-21 freighter to be an appealing alternative, even though it falls between these two in terms of volume. This is due to its broader fuselage and slightly improved range performance. In summary, the design advantages of the MC-21 freighter, such as a wider cabin and advanced materials, make it a potential competitor in the single-aisle freighter market, despite its current theoretical status. Its success, however, would be contingent upon the extent to which Irkut optimizes its interior for cargo operations and satisfies market demands for payload capacity and range. Now, do you think the MC-21 cargo has international potential? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.